we see you dance like Tina? Like Tina? Oh God. I mean, is that it? Kind of like a... But it looks like she's going to the bathroom, honestly. Yeah, I, I think it's this. I'll try to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't do the dance, I just animate that, I don't do it. Uh, maybe a little shoulder action, you know, Wait, just like. But show me, just show me what to do, I'll do it. All right, talk to us about this outfit choice. What are we wearing here? All right, so this is Linda's uh, outfit from the movie. Uh, and what it says, I think when I wear it, a 52 year old man, dignity. Uh, a kind of a grown upness. Uh, and uh, yeah, doing anything I can to uh, feel comfortable in this weird situation. I love it. It's giving Mendocino Farms meets Victoria's Secret, and we love that well for Linda. Well said, well said, right? yeah. <laughs> what do you most love about Bob's Burgers? Uh, getting paid to be on it. Like Tina's into her weird stuff, Lee's doing her mischievous stuff, Gina's like into weird stuff, and all weird, but all so normal. I love my family, but I am very uh, jealous of the Belcher family always. How, how do they work? How are they a functional family? What's their dynamic? Um, they're a hyper-functional family. Uh, here's what you need. You need to be, tease each other mercilessly and still somehow show that you actually love each other and have their back. What's the secret to a great burger? Oh, wow. I think it's not cooking it past medium rare. Okay. Yeah. That's past enough. that, it just starts to get like tough and cafeteria like. You know, that. From Bob himself. It's a secret. Yeah, cheese, cheese for everything makes it better. I love cheese too. Yeah. What's your favorite type of cheese? Oh, I guess just basic sharp, sharp cheddar okay. cheese. And a sprinkle of love, right? No, love it. No, love tastes disgusting on food. Oh. What's your favorite type of burger? Oh my God! Okay. Hard question, actually. Uh, it, it's you know what I I gotta I've gotta say I, I love an Australian burger and Australians we have beets on it and and that's like standard in Australia and then we also ha love to have eggs so if you have a burger with runny a runny egg okay. you have the yolk running down your hand you're having a great burger. Red yolk, actually, because you have beets in there as well. <laughs> yeah. What do you feel is like one of the most iconic lines uh, Tina has done, or for you, one of your favorite lines? Uh, boys have, wait, no. Girls have uteruses, boys have deuteruses. <laughs> Why do you like that line? I don't know, it just seems very uh, funny thing to say. I didn't write it, but um, I like the line. But you voiced it. I voiced it. I read it. it, I read it off a page, so <laughs> get credit. If you could be any character, who would you be? Linda. Oh, you would stick with Linda? I think Bob and Linda are farting around each other. They know all their kind of gross things, and um, you know they're soulmates. They're they're for each other's soul. Um, Linda loves Bob for his dream of opening a restaurant and cooking, and Bob loves Linda because she's a freak. <laughs> Tip: <laughs> Be a freak. <laughs> oh, definitely be a freak. Let your freak freak flag fly. That is the big Belcher motto there. I think in the TV series, we, we're serving up a similar um, thing, but in concentrated form here in the movie, I want to say hope and grit. It's a line in the movie, and, but it's not in there casually or by accident. Um, this is a family that is facing some hard stuff, and a lot of people are in real life. And there's a lot of restaurants that uh, know exactly how this feels, and a lot of other businesses too. And we just, we were thinking of them. Uh, it's a mystery, it's a big musical, it's a silly adventure, but it is also, a movie for them, we were thinking of them.